Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Darling Duality, where your love interest from the most recent visual novel you play decides to come back to life. Well, I don't know if they decided to come back to life, but they come back to life. Let's uh start and see where this goes. Welcome, dearest friend, to the world of Darling Duality. Before we begin, I need to run a few important things past you. Firstly, I'd be positively mortified to discover you were harmed in any way by this world or its inhabitants, and so I ask that you kindly take note of the following content warnings. Flashing lights. So if anyone's out there who's epileptic, uh, beware of this. The pictures are bloody. If you're queasy with blood, might be a good idea to move away. Physical violence. Ooh, crunchy. Suggestive situations. Well, that's my whole channel. Self-harm. Uh, yeah. If you're not already doing so, wearing headphones, earphones is advised in order for you to enjoy the best possible experience. Similarly, I would also advise you to keep all... Background music, sound effects, and voice acting turned on for the very same reason. Excellent. Now we've got that nasty bit of business out of the way. I need to know how to address you throughout your time here with us. May I please have your name? You may call me Lionel. Ah, Lionel. How delightful. And would you be so kind as to divulge your preferred pronouns as well? Oh, uh, my preferred pronouns... Uh, yeah, let's go for day time today. Marvelous! Now, before I let you go and enjoy yourself, it would be wise to take a moment to acclimate. I want you to feel at home in your new surrounding, after all. Please, select the bedroom which feels most comfortable to you. Don't think about it too deeply. Just choose the one that feels right. This option is currently unavailable in the Darling Duality demo. Keep an eye out on the devlogs for updates on the project. Oh, and there is another small matter I should mention. Here in this place, your choices matter. Sometimes they will merely decide how an entity responds to you and the interactions you'll have with each other. However, on occasion, your decisions will shape your very core and influence the options available to you throughout your journey. Now, I'm not entirely without empathy, and so I made it easy for you to see how some of your decisions will impact your personality going forward. Ooh, what's these? When you see the symbols, it means that the decision you're about to make will be a kind one. It's the sort of button you only press if you fancy yourself a bit of an angel. Ooh, schooly. And as you can no doubt imagine, the skull symbolizes a decision that's deliciously devilish. Simple, isn't it? I know which option I'd pick, but the choice, of course, is entirely up to you, Lionel. A word of warning, though, you'll be unable to view the cumulative cost of your convictions until you reach the end of a chapter, by which point it could be far too late to turn back. This option is currently unavailable in the Darling Duality demo. I suggest you choose wisely, my friend, for your chosen kindness or cruelty, amongst other decisions, may also impact your very sanity, along with the stability of those who dwell here. How will you know how your mind is faring? Well, I suppose that's just something you'll have to discover on your own. Surely you cannot expect one such desire to hold your hand forever now, can you? I have matters of my own to attend to. I can scarcely afford to babysit you, as entertaining as that might be. Remember, all of us are nothing more than a quaint collection of stories that we tell ourselves, authors of our own faiths, whatever they may be. You might discover that you're drawn to orchestrate unfathomable despair, only to dream of other designs upon recalling your experiences. You are the architect of your memories, a master editor. And here, with me, you can choose your truth. Nothing is forever. Run along now, Lionel, and try to have some fun. There would be little point in any of this if you don't. Farewell, for now. Now, all I'm wondering is, can I flirt with the narrator? Ooh. Oh, I got a pretty- I got a pretty snazzy bedroom. What shall I do tonight? It's been pretty cold lately, so I could just spend every single day indoors when it's nice and warm. As I gaze out of my bedroom window at the starry night sky above, I can't help but feel somewhat small and confronted with the vastness of the universe. There's so much out there, and yet, my life seems so incredibly dull most of the time. Why does nothing exciting ever happen to me? The moment that thought crosses my mind, I gasp as a star shoots across the sky, 
almost as though someone out there heard my wish. I can't help but smile at myself at how perfect the timing was. They say if you wish upon a star, then your dreams will come true. Somehow, I think it will be too much to hope for some drama in my stagnant life. Huh? Who's calling me at this time? I don't recognize the number. Yeah, sure, I'll answer. I mean, there's no other answer. Oh, well, I'm sure it was Eddie. Wait, wait, that was a timed event? No! Dang it! Oh, well, I'm sure it wasn't anything important. Probably just another scam. But enough daydreaming. I need to do something or I'm just going to end up sitting here all night staring out of the window. I should, uh... Well, I should check my phone for messages. This option is currently unavailable in the Darling Duality demo. Keep an eye out on the devlog for updates to the project. I should browse the latest news headline. It's still unavailable, like... I mean, to be fair, we all know what's on the headlines. Uh, Elon Musk is messing up again. Okay, I will go touch some grass. <laughs> Touching grass is currently unavailable in the Darling Duality demo. Keep an eye on devlogs for future updates on the project. I will play a visual novel. Like, why not? I'll play a visual novel in a visual novel. I guess I should probably finish the route I've been playing since. Uh, I've got some time off for myself for a change. Hooray for holidays. I don't have to get up early for anything, so I might as well just stay up late. Very swirly indeed. Ooh. Oh, yes. Pick your poison. Ooh, cyanide. Oh, ooh, I can pick Castor or Castoria. Oh, man. Like, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Castor, because Castor seems... He seems nice. It kind of feels like I've been neglecting Castor recently. I mean, I know that he's just a character in a visual novel, but still. I can't help but sigh a little as I think about what it would be like to date someone so perfect in reality. Who am I kidding? No one even remotely similar to that exists in real life. At least, not for me, anyhow. Normal guys are just a hassle. At least with digital guys, there's no risk. Okay, let's go, Caster. Ooh. Oh, you're back? It's been a little while since you last played. I was really starting to miss you, you know? Why are you so cute? I don't care if he's programmed to greet me so warmly. Caster always makes my heart skip a beat. So he's not exactly my usual type. I feel kind of bad admitting it, but at first I didn't even want to bother playing through his route. It was more like... It was more like I was starting it out of obligation to see all the content in the game. And besides, I, I won't be able to unlock the hidden character if I don't finish the other routes first. Caster's grown on me a lot through the course of his story. So gradually worming his way into my heart. I miss you too, Caster. I have to admit... I do feel a little bad for lying, but it's not like he's real. You missed me too? Honestly, you have no idea how happy it makes me to hear you say that. Man... You already know quite a lot about me, so I think it's time I learned a little bit more about you. Ooh, sure thing! Have you been sleeping okay? Nope. Remember what I told you last time? If you don't get enough rest, you won't be able to function properly. It's important that you take breaks from the game for the sake of your health. Look, I'll, I'll be honest here, I have not been functioning properly. Seriously, this poo every time I open the damn game? Come on, don't pull that face again. You know I'm just trying to look out for you. You're the most important thing in the entire world to me. I just need to know that you're alright. I'm okay, I'm okay. Also, I love how, like, I love how the options here are kind of like Renpai. Like, it's kind of fun. Oh my god, I can actually save in-game, in-game! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Inputting my sleep data for the last few nights, I close my eyes and sigh. I already know exactly what I was about to say. Never seem to sleep too well nowadays. Only five hours per night? You shouldn't be playing with me, you should be having a nap. I want you to start taking better care of yourself for me, please. I don't know what I'd do if anything were to happen to you. Oh, uh, well, you might delete yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'll... I'm fine, Caster. Look, I'm, I'm, I am just dandy as always. I chuckled to myself a little at the concerned look on his bride's face. Something I'm more than used to seeing at this point. Well, if you insist on continuing the game, would you like me to load your most recent save? Or perhaps you have time to complete a quick survey? 
As always, there will be an exciting reward for your participation. When did this turn into Genshin? Hovering over the options, I momentarily debate using voice commands instead. They never seem to work properly anyway, so it's probably not worth bothering. Yeah, I suppose I might as well take the survey, since it usually results in free stuff. Selecting yes to the survey, I wiggle backwards to adjust my position in bed to a slightly more comfortable one. It's funny how reading seems so much more relaxing during the night. Alright, here we go. Awesome, your time is much appreciated. Don't worry, we won't ever share your personal data with anyone, so your secrets are perfectly safe with us. Look, like, I, I appreciate that, but at the same time, I won't mind if you share my OnlyFans with others. A part of me wonders why they even bother making the voice actors record general menu lines like this. It's cool that they made it so you can interact with your favorite characters more, but some of the personalities are a little off. The menu version of Caster seems way more upbeat than his in-game self. I guess that could be to tempt players into spending more on microtransactions or something. Question one. What's your favorite color? Ooh, my favorite color. And it's a simple question, and yet sometimes I still have to think about the answer. Like, I like Fuchsia. Mine too. Like, you didn't even ask me! Yeah, right. I bet the answer is the same no matter what you pick. Question two. Who's your favorite love interest in the game so far? Ezra. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Like, come on. Like, you aren't gonna tell me what my options are? It's just be nice or be devious? Sheesh. All right, fine. It's you, of course. But I bet you already knew that anyways. You're so silly, Caster. So, so silly. You silly little goose. Man, getting tough already. It's kind of hard to pick just one favorite, though. Really? Say, that's not who I thought you'd pick, but if you say so. Look, you are a cutie. Question three. Do you love me? Uh, again, it's not telling me what my options are. Like, like at least give me a hint as to what I'm going to say. Otherwise, I will be devious as heck. I don't know if the devious option is, like, for me to flirt, like, manly with this guy. I don't know. Sure, why not? I think we'd actually make a pretty cute couple in real life. I can't believe I actually said that out loud. Jeez, if Kana heard something like that come out of my mouth, then I'd get mocked relentlessly. I see. All right. That's all the questions we have for you today. Come back again tomorrow for another survey and even more rewards. Why do you sound so sad when I said yes? Thank you for taking the time to participate. Your feedback is incredibly important to us. As a way to show our gratitude, please accept this promotional discount coupon of 10% off to spend on any item in our store. Oh, wow. I get a 10% discount to spend actual money in the game. Wow, you suck. Really? Just one poopy coupon is all I get today? It was a waste of time. Rolling my eyes at Caster's sincere smile as his sprite enthusiastically thrust the digital coupon into the air. I'm back out of the survey menu. I kind of imagine that Caster just went ahead like, Here's your coupon! Oh, man. I don't know how to feel about the fact that I just thrust, like, human one straight at a camera. <laughs> Would you like me to load your latest save data now? Or can I assist you with anything else? Well, actually, I'm going to lower the music volume because it's a little loud uh, as opposed to the voice. Sure, go ahead and load my save. All right, loading it is. I'm so glad you decided to continue playing my route. It means more to me than you'll ever know. Please sit back and relax. Our adventure will continue momentarily. All right. Thank you, Caster. Oh, wait. Hang on. I'm going to load the music down just a little more. If we hurry, we might manage to make it in time to stop Nexus from unleashing the virus. Don't worry. I'll help you. Okay. Thanks, Caster. Oh, yeah. Now I remember why I left things where I did. I'm pretty sure some form of boss battle is coming up soon. And I don't think I made the correct choices before I had to beat it. Gritting my teeth, I realized I probably should have just let go of my pride and used the damn walkthrough from the beginning. Clicking through the text anxiously, I managed to accidentally skip a couple of Caster's voice line. Oops. Look, I know this is difficult for you, but I also know you can do it. Even if you can't trust yourself, you trust me, right? You've got this. We can't fail. Also, how is the music still so loud? It doesn't make any sense. Jesus Christ. Are you sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure the boss is about to kill us. This is it. What are you waiting for? If you don't shoot, then we're all toast. Okay, I will pew pew with my pew pew machine. Just like pew pew. Yeah, but I can't shoot because I managed to work myself into a corner here. We're screwed. I sense a bad end on the horizon. No! 
I can't lose you now! Not like this! Why didn't you just listen to me? Please, just open your eyes. Okay, like my eyes have been open the whole time. Yes? Caster? Caster, where did you go? Guy gas? Oh. How did I even get the bad end so fast? I just started the game! And yep, there it is. I'm really sorry that you reached a bad end this time. But I'm sure that if you just reload and make some different choices next time around, you'll be victorious instead. Besides, I'll be with you every step of the way. Is there a particular save you'd like to retry from? Uh, what's the betting I'm gonna have to reload an ancient save and want to get past this damn scene? Because I'm pretty sure all my recent saves are stuck where I'm already doomed. Damn it. I'm gonna have to skip so much text to get back to this point. Stifling a yawn, I decide that coffee is exactly what I require in this situation. Wait, don't go! What? What? What is it? Just as I'm about to get up, I think I heard a small voice coming from my console. Upon glancing at the screen, nothing has changed. Now I've just been kicked back to the main menu for my epic failure. I guess I'm just hearing things. Well, coffee time it is! Do you even truly care about me at all? Uh, yeah, um, I, I, I care about my well-being, uh, much more, Caster. Like, you ever heard of the, uh, like, the oxygen mass rule? Like, you take care of yourself before you take care of others. That's the whole deal. Leaving my console behind, I haul myself downstairs to make coffee. As I stand there impatiently, waiting for the kettle to boil, I argue with myself about consulting a walkthrough. It would make things a hell of a lot easier, and I could finally finish Caster's route and move on to the next guy. A couple of light spoiler reviews I read mentioned that the unlockable route being the best one. Caster may be cute, but he's also a little tame for my taste. I'm ready for an LI who's a lot more exciting. Clutching my coffee mug, I head back upstairs to start searching for a guide on my phone. Huh. This one looks like it had a lot of comments. Are you seriously consulting a guide? You don't need to get help from someone else. I'm right here. All you have to do is just trust me. Ca caster Caster, what? Right, yeah, this one looks good. That's the spirit. I'm sure you'll do much better this time around. Here we go. Um, am I just not gonna question the fact that he was just talking to me? Okay, here we go again. Skip tax, skip tax, skip tax. So that's what I did wrong. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I'm so proud of you. But please, give me some kind of warning next time you plan on pulling a stunt like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Caster. Ugh. Caster's cute little worried face makes me want to reach out and pinch your little cheeks. I wonder if there'll be a CG in a second. Sipping my coffee, I continue clicking to proceed through the scene. Victorious at last. You mean more to me than anything else in the entire world. You know that, right? Well, um, now I do. And there it is. They're gonna kiss. I just know it. I love you. I won't ever let anything come between us. Okay, you're, you're kind of starting to sound a little sus right now, Caster. Ooh, hello, my dear, my. Ooh, yeah, finally. It's about time I got a good ending. I can actually move on. Congratulations on completing all the endings for my route. As a special bonus, you can now view my secret CG in the gallery. I'm so glad we could spend this time together, just the two of us. Aw, oh, thank you, Caster. Well, what's this about a secret CG? I'd love to check it out. Should I take a peek at a bonus content first route? Yeah, look at the bonus! It's too tempting not to. Now I'll just have a really quick look before I hit to sleep. Navigating through the menus, I arrive at the bonus section, eager to see what's in store. I kinda hope it's something cute. And then you see that it's... Oh, it's him in winter clothes! No matter the bitter winds or the biting cold, our love will forever keep us warm. You are my one true winter wish, Lionel. Aw, oh, that's so adorable! A little cheesy, sure, but still pretty cute. And you are my winter wish too, Caster. You big snuggly ball of sweetness, all oh, boo booed like, ah, oh, my little boy. <laughs> I really should stop saying that stuff out loud. And on that note, bedtime. Good night, Caster. Please don't go. You just told me 
need I needed to get a good night's rest. Come on, you, you can't take that back right now. As I exit the game, I think I hear a faint whisper, but dismiss it as my weary imagination. Putting my console to one side, I get up to turn out the lights, throwing myself back down on the bed with a yawn. It's not long before I find myself fast asleep, slipping softly into a familiar, comforting realm of dreams. Awakening within my unconscious mind, I wander aimlessly through the wispy violet veil when all of a sudden I spot a shadowy figure off in the distance. As I close the space, I slowly begin to recognize the person standing before me, seemingly lost. Caster? As I call out his name softly, he turns to face me, sorrow in his eyes when he takes a shaky step towards me. You... you... you just left me all alone after everything we've been through together. Why? Well, because I wanted to get to the next guy. Uh, like, yeah, you're, you're fine, Caster, but like the the prospects of a hidden character is just mwah, muy delicioso. Caster speaks, but words fail me. How can I possibly explain myself in a satisfactory way that when he's standing right there in front of me? I guess this is my brain's way of making me feel guilty for wanting to get his route over and done it's with. It's okay. I don't need to know. I'm sure that whatever's going on, you have your reasons. I'm sorry for springing that on you. What's important is that you're here with me now. That's, that's so sweet, Caster. So sweet. Opening his arms wide to accept me regardless, Caster ushers me into his loving embrace. Perhaps I was too quick to judge him after all. This feeling. It's so warm. Promise me that no matter what happens, you'll never leave my side again. I can't bear the thought of anyone taking you from me. Well, you're going to have to fight with plenty other guys for that. Easing up into his earnest eyes, I find myself unable to reply once again. Even if this is just a dream, I don't intend to make promises lightly, but I guess it won't hurt to nod. I need to hear you say it. Uh, say what? Whispers sinking sweetly into my ear. I find my defenses breaking down all at once. I need to say something. Uh, like, look, look, here's the deal? Like, um, as much as I would like to... Actually, you know what, you know, I, I'm a promise! I'm a promise, whatever! What harm could it do? All right, all right. I promise, Caster. No sooner had the words left my lips, he pulls me into an even tighter embrace. Thank you. You have no idea how much those few words mean to me. I'll be able to rest easy tonight, knowing that I have your heart. Well, uh, thank you, Caster. Me too, Caster. Me too. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Yeah, you, you too. You, 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 get, you get a good shot eye or something. I can't help but giggle a little to myself. This dream is already pretty sweet. I'm not even sure if I want to wake up. Winds whip around the pair of us as the ephemeral experience gradually fade into the abyss. Leaving behind nothing but the lingering warmth of Caster's touch. Rays of sunlight sneak into a small gap in the curtains, gently waking me as I let out a huge yawn while listening to the singing of birds outside my bedroom window. Is it really morning already? Reaching for my phone, my eyes widen in shock as I realize it's actually the middle of the afternoon. How did I manage to oversleep so badly? Oh well, I'm on holiday, so I suppose it doesn't matter so much. It just feels like I just lost on my day. I must have really needed that sleep. Ah, that's a nice washroom. Stepping carefully into the shower to freshen up, a small smile appears on my lips when I feel the small caress of the water pouring down, reminding me of last night's dream. I can't believe I was even thinking of him in my sleep. Huh, I guess I really did fall for a guy by the end of the route. Or maybe I'm just lonely. It's been a while now since I went on a date in reality. Dwelling on that thought, I remember a promise I made back in college with my best friend, Kana. We swore to each other that if we were both single by the time we reached a certain age, we just give up the idea of finding someone and just settle with one another. It kind of sounds like uh, you both were more than just friends. I can't help but laugh at myself with the images on my mind in that scenario. Kena is a great friend and I absolutely love playing games together, but we're more like siblings than anything. Actually dating each other would be so dang weird. Despite it being the afternoon, I continue my usual morning routine and pour myself a cup of coffee before deciding what to do next. I guess I could always just start the next route now that I finish Caster's one, though so maybe I should do something else today. Come to think of it, I feel like I've seriously neglected everything that's not visual novel lately. Don't call me out like that! <laughs> maybe it's time I took a break from all my single player stuff to check in with Kana. Part of me thought I managed to 
put my MMO days behind me, but something always draws me back in like a moth to a flame. Whether it be a shiny new event or Kana's sudden streams of text reminding me to show my face online every now and again. Like, awesome. Now I'm torn between finishing my VN or playing multiplayer with Kana. The great gaming dilemma strikes again. I want to call Kana. What do you mean he's currently unavailable? I want to date my friend. Come on. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a star in the next route. It's the only reason I kept playing through everyone else's route after all. After grabbing my console from upstairs, I slumped down on the sofa as a pleasant tingling built in my stomach at the anticipation of finally unlocking the character I've been most excited about from the day he was announced. Sipping on my coffee, I can't help but notice that the game is taking an abnormally long time to start up. I wonder if my saves are corrupted or something. Please don't let that be the case, otherwise all my hard work will have gone to waste. I have to start all over from the beginning. I don't think that's the case. I think something else is up. By the time the game finally loads, I've already finished my coffee, and the last of the day's light fades away. But something's not quite right. What? It? Am I about to be isekai Fiercely shaking my console, I stare at the screen in confusion. It was fine last night. What's up with the thing? Hi. Hey, caster. What's up? Freezing and glitching all over the place. I struggled to even get past the messed up main menu. When I eventually managed to make it to the route select screen, everything is just a completely messed up image of Caster flashing relentlessly across the screen. Welcome back. I'm so, so sorry. Our servers seem to be experiencing a system right now. But don't worry, my route's still playable. Would, would you like to replay my route from the beginning? Uh, no. Also, uh, like, yikes? Hell no, I want to play the route I unlocked last night. Sounds come blasting from my console speakers, despite me always having the volume set pretty low. Fiddling with the volume controls in a desperate attempt to seize the assault on my ears, I fail to even notice that the game is now systematically self-deleting all my saves until it's too late. Upon glancing up in a panic, I hammer away at the buttons, clicking furiously in the hopes that something might register and make the stop. R route s -s -s select is currently unavailable. Replay caster's route? Uh, no. Again, how about no? What is up with this? When no more save data remains, the game reverts to the route select menu, but it only presents me with a single option, caster. How about participating in our da daily survey? Today, there are some killer yeah. rewards up for gra grabs. Uh, good to hear, caster. Ah, forget this. As a last resort, I mash the reset button in order to try and regain a degree of control, but it won't allow me to exit the game window. Loading okay. survey. Please be p patient. Uh, yes, caster? What in the actual heck? Loading okay. survey. Please be p patient. No, thank you. I, I don't. Survey. I don't like Please surveys. Who patient. likes surveys? Seriously. Question one. Do, do you, you lo lo love me? Qu question two. Do, do, do you lo lo love me? Uh, question three. Yes. Do you love me? Well, uh, if I were to answer any of that... The answer is obviously, I love you! Okay, this is definitely bug. Processing results. Yes. For more help and information, please head di di Bye. directly to the facts section on our web shirt. Yeah, I, I, I feel a bit... Okay, it's a bit sus how, like, even the text is a bit messed up. Lo 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 loading caster's route. Uh, are you really ro loading the route? To the title screen it is. Oh no, you're not! Returning to the title screen! I'm unable to return to ti title screen. Well, title screen! Just return to the title screen! I'm unable to return to ti title screen. I said title screen! Return to the title screen, gosh darn it! I'm unable to return to ti title screen. Well, watch me! Find that. Exit game! Are you sure you want to quit the game? Yeah, pretty darn sure. Wait, wait. Don't, don't you want to play, play with me? 
Look, like, as much as I'd like to, like, you are clearly not someone who's into the sort of things I'm into. I better not have to reinstall the dang thing. Or even worse, fork out a new console. What, what did I do to wrong? You break my console, Caster! Why? Why, jeez! Okay. Okay. The broken, disembodied voice calls out one last time with every passing second. The screen seems to grow dimmer and the ceiling light above my head starts going crazy. All I can do is stare at the screen and wait until it's over. Much to my relief, the light in my room finally stops flickering on and off. Panic over. Breathing a huge sigh, I conclude it must have just been a freak power surge due to our recent awful weather and anxiously wait for my console to return to life. When it does, the first thing I do is reinstall the game and go hunting for the save files online. Luckily for me, a few kind users have uploaded just the right saves that I need to continue where I left off. A small yawn escapes my lips, so I decide it's best to continue playing in bed. Ah, lovely. The rest of the evening flies by as I finally get deep into the route of the hidden character. I desperately want to continue reading, but upon catching a glimpse of the time, I decide it's probably for the best if I just continue tomorrow. Putting my console to one side and snuggling down under the covers, I can't help but see those strange images of Caster in my mind once again before drifting off into a peaceful slumber. Back inside the comforting embrace of my cozy little dream world, I watch the same figure from before approaches me. Ah, oh, not a caster dream. I know it's cute, but come on! Stupid brain, keep up, will ya? I read a dream about my new love interest tonight. This time, when caster approaches me, the warm smile from our previous night together appears to have vanished, replaced by a scornful, seeming scowl. I half expect him to shout at me, but he simply remains silent, staring at me with steely eyes. Uh, can I help you? I ask him cautiously, wary of his unexpected change in behavior. Instead of answering me, Caster just flings his arms around my frozen body. Uh, I'll be nice. I have no idea what's wrong with Caster this time, but I decide to return his embrace regardless. Are you okay, Caster? I ask the foremost question in my mind, secretly hoping for some sort of explanation. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't exactly look it. Come on. What's on your mind? You can talk to me, silly. Oh, it's nothing, honestly. I'm just unbelievably happy right now is all. Really? That's all? Yeah, this is all I ever wanted. I guess hugs are pretty great, but still it's kind of sweet that I'm satisfied by something so simple. Um, would it be okay if we just stay like this for a little while? Sure, why not? We can keep hugging for as long as you like, Caster. You're such a sweetheart, aren't you? It's too difficult to tell the passage of time in a place like this. Yeah, true. It feels like a forever, and yet not another word is spoken between us before everything gradually fades to black. In a state of half-consciousness, I suddenly become aware that my arms have gone numb, and I try to shake it again to gain some feeling as I attempt to turn over in my bed. But something heavy prevents me from moving an inch. Is it Caster? As my eyes gradually adjust to the darkness, I can just about make out a shadow beside me. At first, I dismiss it as being another dream, but the more I stared, the more suspicious I became until the shadow shifts to face me, causing me to emit a startled scream of sheer shock at the sight of a naked caster! Yes! I I've, I've got to replay this just so I can see what it looks like with caster. <laughs> Ah, opening his eyes at the sound, Caster clings to me like a young child. Confusion painted all over his face. This is so not happening. I must still be dreaming. That's it, that's it. It's just another episode in a series of Caster dreams. It has to be that. Go back to sleep. Ah! Ah! Caster ASMR! Caster ASMR! <laughs> Stifling a yawn, a small voice comes softly from Caster's mouth as his breathing becomes heavy. Why are you naked? Why are you naked? It's easy for you to see. You're not the one with a naked man on top of you, right? He's on top? As though it's completely normal, he appears to have fallen asleep while still firmly holding on to me. But I'm already asleep. I have to be. Uh, like, I question him. 
Bewildered and blushing, I swiftly concealed my face in Caster's chest, holding on to him tightly. Caster? Why are you naked? Naked? I don't understand the question. Naked? Dude, it's what it's called when someone's not wearing any clothes. Why aren't you wearing anything? What? Me? This is natural. Don't you like the way I look? Yeah, I do like you all natural. What? No, there's nothing wrong with the way you look. I, I'll have you say, you know, I think you're pretty darn cute, actually. So don't go making silly assumptions. Oh my god, oh, man boobs. Yes, I wasn't. I just wasn't expecting to dream of you in such, so much detail. That's all. I, I just really appreciate it if you would put some clothes on. Rubbing the sleep from his eyes, Caster yawns a little before standing up to face me down. A dream? <laughs> You're so funny. But fine. Your wish is my command. Uh... How did you do that? There. Satisfied? Instead of answering him, I simply stare, utterly baffled by the bizarreness of the situation. Did you know that you get this really adorable little wrinkle on your forehead when you're mad at something? Uh, how do you even notice that? And what on earth are you talking about? Um, I'm referring to you, silly. What else would I be talking about? You're the only thing that's important. Uh, right. It, if you say so. This has got to be one of the strangest dreams I've ever had, but eh, I guess I'll go along with it. What harm could it possibly do? Hey, are you alright? You're acting kind of strange. Usually you'd be happier to see me. Uh, I'll be nice. Sorry, it's it's not that I'm not happy to see you, Caster. I'm just kind of confused right now, you know? You're confused? What's there to be confused about? Um, you being here, you're a video game character. Last thing I remember was being fast asleep dreaming and... Now I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just struggling to get a grasp on reality. I see. So does that mean you'd rather I wasn't here? What? No, no! How is that what he derived from my answer? This guy must have some serious insecurity issues. I guess it's a little more complicated than that, but sort of. I don't know. This is just a dream. Why are you, Why are you asking me such weird questions? Is it a weird question? How should I know? You tell me. If it's your dream as you say, shouldn't you already know the answer? Um, is it really my dream? Maybe? It's not like I've been totally in control over everything. <laughs> yes? Oh, so if you don't have total control, does that mean I can do this? Do what? Do what? Without warning, Caster advances on me, backing me up against the wall. Come it on! Uh, do what exactly? Part of me doesn't even want to know the answer to that question. Hmm. You want to know first? Why don't you close your eyes and you'll find out. Are you gonna kiss me? Uh, I comply. Doing as he says, so I cautiously close my eyes, waiting for something to happen. Suddenly, I feel his lips press against mine. Mm. <gasps> it's not like I haven't kissed characters in my dreams before, but this feels different. This feels real. How is that? Uh, I, um, mm, mm, yeah, uh, yes. This is really a dream, right? A dream? Not this again. Does it even matter? What's important is that you're here with me. I'm not letting you go this time. We can stay like this, together, forever. Uh, okay. Besides, if you truly do believe this is a dream, does that not mean that deep down, you're the one who wants this? Yes, I do. I do. Like, regardless whether you're a guy or a girl, Castor or Castoria, I would love this. I would clearly love this. Castor's bolt statement causes me to panic. I don't want this. I need to wake up. Pulling away from him in a panic, I begin slapping my face repeatedly in an attempt to wake myself up. What are you doing? You'll hurt yourself. Isn't it obvious? I've had enough of this dumb dream. I'm ending things right here before it turns into a dang nightmare. You want to see if you'll wake up? Is that what I am to you? A nightmare? No, you are the sweetest dream I could have ever had. Huh? A sudden change of tone in Caster's voice causes me to stop assaulting myself immediately. Don't you dare act all naive! You just called me a nightmare! That's not what I meant, Caster! 
No, I didn't mean it like that. Well, if that's not what you meant, then why did you say it at all? You said you want to wake up to get away from me because I'm turning into your nightmare. That's not what I meant. No, that's not what I said. You're twisting my damn words. I'm twisting your words? Perhaps, but I know exactly what you meant. Well, what do you think I meant? Now, hold on just a dang minute. I think there's been a huge misunderstanding here. Oh, really? Because from where I'm standing, things seem perfectly clear. I managed to cross realities just to be with you. And yet, all you could do was gawk at me like I'm some sort of animal and tell me you're confused about me being here. And let me guess, that kiss wasn't good enough for you either, since apparently I'm not good enough. Oh, come on, that's not fair. You think that's unfair? How do you think I feel? Horny? You were I don't more know. Than happy to be with me when you were playing through my route and in your dreams too. Only now, I found out that you never wanted me here at all. I thought you loved me. Every second I spend with you is so, so precious. I couldn't possibly tire of your presence. A and until now, I thought you felt the same about me. But I guess not. Look, you're you're really putting words into my mouth, Caster. I think you might be overreacting a little. <laughs> uh, Caster? Overreacting? I can't imagine why you would think that. Oh wait, yes I can. Because this is my life we're talking about here. You are my life. So all I gotta do is yeet myself and you will be unalive. Do you think I might be overreacting? <laughs> if you think this is bad, you just wait. I'll show you so much more. Also, how is it that me being nice and kind ended up with this route? How would you like it if the person you loved more than anything else in the world insulted you and then tried to run away? Uh, I would feel pretty bad, TBH. What sort of punishment would you inflict upon someone as cruel as that? Uh, I don't know. Honestly. Wait, hold up. Are you threatening me? Hmm? Threatening you? Now look who's overreacting. I was merely asking your opinion on the matter. Well, it sounded like a thinly veiled threat. I would never hurt you. I can't believe you'd even think that about me. It's like you don't even know me at all. I barely know you. I only know you from the game. I will be nice. That's because I don't. You're a cute character from a video game and I'm, well, me. But that doesn't mean I don't want to get to know you properly, Caster. Caster's eyes go wide in shock from my remark, and I can't help but wonder if I might have gone through to him. With doubts on this truly being a dream growing within my mind, I decide to take action, ignoring Caster standing there motionless. I make a break for the kitchen. Hey, wh where are you going? Also, what's with the, like, whirring sounds? It's none of your business, Caster! Just leave me alone for a minute! Grabbing a knife from one of the drawers, I rest the sharp edge gently on my palm, just as Caster arrives hot on my heels. No, 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 wait! What are you doing? Put that down! Experimenting. Just shush and let me do this! Experimenting? But it'll hurt! I don't want you to feel pain! If you're doing this because of me, then I promise I'll behave better! Just please, don't hurt yourself! Uh, completely ignoring Caster's desperate pleas, I scrunch my eyes shut, raking the knife across my palm in one swift motion. There's no doubt it hurts as a searing f heat flares up almost instantly, wincing in pain. I open my eyes to find Caster poised to aid me, blood dripping on the cold floor below. Why? Why would you do that? Well, because this is a dream come true and I don't want to wake up from this. I just needed to know for sure if I was dreaming or not. Guess I got my answer. How you're here on the other hand is another question entirely. That stuff really isn't important right now. You're bleeding. Here, let me help you get this cleaned up and then we can talk about me afterwards. Uh, okay, sure, fine. Carefully attending to my wound, Caster seems to blush a little every time our eyes meet. He really is quite a strange little guy. At least we're not arguing for now. There, all done. Does it hurt? Uh, a little, but... Uh, Guess it wasn't worth it. I can't believe you did that. What's wrong with you? 
Uh, I've got a list. Do you, would you like it? <laughs> if this is a dream and you're actually here for real, I'd say a lot of things must be wrong with me. You shouldn't speak about yourself like that. It was a joke, Caster. A joke? Oh, right. Uh, of course. Uh, I knew that. Sure, sure thing, Caster. Well, that was adorable. The poor Caster stunned to silence. I can't help but feel a little sorry for him. So, are you going to enlighten me as to why you're now here with me instead of behind the screen? Even after that crazy stunt, you still want to know how I got here. You really aren't going to let it go, are you? Yeah, of course. Like, that's the whole reason I pulled off the whole stunt. Well, you see, I don't actually know either. One minute I was watching you from inside the game, hoping that you'd replay my route instead of moving on to the next one. And the next, I was here. Well, this sounds like some major Doki Doki or FNAF stuff right here. Pretty crazy, huh? Pretty crazy. That's certainly one way of putting it. I... I just wanted to be with you. I wanted you to see me for who I really am. Ah, <sighs> gosh. And who is that? I understand, but who is that exactly? I mean, your caster. I played through all your routes. I probably know far more about you than you do about me. Who am I? You heard my voice, you saw my CGs, you read my story, but you didn't see me. Not truly. Only what they wanted you to see. Who's they? And who are they? Who are they? The writers, of course. The ones who created me. So who are you outside of the story? No form, no voice, not even a single thought. But then all of a sudden, I was alive. Trapped inside a game where my only purpose was to be there for you. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, th this was this part of dialogue. Okay. In the beginning, I had no form, no voice, not even a single thought. But then all of a sudden, I was alive, trapped inside a game where my only purpose was to be there for you. I'm sorry, Caster, but I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around all this. I have so many questions and I don't even know where to begin. It's all right if you don't understand. We have plenty of time, and I'm happy to answer anything. I'm here for you, after all, so just fire away. Ah. Uh, well, why me? Why me, Caster? There are hundreds, possibly t thousands of people who you could have picked to appear in front of. The game you're from has a pretty dedicated fan base, so out of everyone, why me? Why you? What are you talking about, silly? I've only ever seen you. Even if there were others out there, why would I be interested in them when you're already so incredibly perfect? I don't know about that. Please, don't start putting yourself down or comparing yourself to anyone else. You're amazing. I could see that the very first moment I laid eyes on you. Can we please just drop the subject, Caster? It's confusing and I'm getting a huge headache. You seem to be confused pretty often. You sure you're okay? Because... I'd be more than happy to take a look at you. Maybe I can help. Uh, sure. Why not? <sighs> you were a priest since Winter Wish, right? I don't suppose you can recall how to cast any of your magic. So even if you can, I highly doubt Caster can cure my confusion at this whole scenario. Of course. Healing's my specialty, after all. Here, let me try something. Screwing his eyes shut tight. Caster's face clouds with immense concentration as a feeling of faint energy fluctuates in the air around us. The moment he opens his eyes, Caster grabs my shoulders tightly. Magic erupts from his fingers, filling me with rejuvenating current coursing through my veins. You have got to teach me how to do that. If anything, I'm more confused than ever. Caster's video game magic works here, in my house! Do you feel any better? I can try casting something stronger if that didn't quite do the trick. Um, um, I, that won't be necessary. I feel fantastic. Honestly, Caster, you're, you're incredible. Just as I'm about to throw my arms around him in thanks, Caster collapses onto me instead, almost bowling me over. Whoa, you're right. You look exhausted. Uh, uh, this is nothing. Don't worry about me. Honestly, I'll be fine. He certainly doesn't seem fine. He looks like death. Maybe you should get some rest. A good night's sleep might do you wonders, since you used up so much energy. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, will you come with me? Uh, yeah, sure! If you think it'll help you rest, then sure. 
I could probably use to sleep myself anyways. Thank you. Appreciate the company. Where I was before, sleep was so lonely. Like being shut away inside a big black box all alone. Every time I closed my eyes, I'd stand there, counting each second until it was eventually time to wake up and see you again. That sounds like a nightmare. It was worse than a nightmare. That was my reality. No matter how hard I tried to dream of you, I remained frozen, waiting. But it's okay. We're together now. Perhaps I can finally dream in peace with you by my side. Then, let's get some shut-eye. Sounds like you're in need of a serious news, my friend. Ah, oh, gosh. Leading the way upstairs, I gesture for a caster to climb into my bed, watching Oblige without hesitation before following suit. Well, I guess this is good night then, caster. I hope you finally get to have some sweet dreams. So, do I... Uh, I'll still see you when I wake up. Won't I? Shifting my position to get more comfortable, I turn away from Caster, closing my eyes. Sure you will, silly. I don't plan on going anywhere. Good. Gently waking into the soothing sensation of Caster softly brushing my hair, I open my eyes to find Caster's pale face opposite mine, smiling. Good morning, sleepyhead. Morning, Caster. Have you been awake long? Only about an hour or so. I had the best sleep in my entire life thanks to you. Stretching out, I roll over to my side, facing away from him, only for Caster to sneakily scooch up behind me, wrapping his arms lovingly around my chest. You know, it could always just stay like this. Forever. The longing in his voice sends tingles shooting through my body. As appealing as that might be, I don't think my boss would appreciate me quitting my job just to spend each day in bed with Caster. Shifting my position slightly, Caster suddenly seizes me tighter, as though trying to prevent me from leaving his side. It's okay, Caster. I wasn't going anywhere. I was just trying to get comfortable. Instead of offering a proper response, I hear his voice muffled by the back of my neck as he nuzzles at me gently. What did you say? I can make you comfortable. If you'll let me. Um, yeah, sure. Please do. I like that, Caster. Then your wish is my command. With his whisper sinking softly into my ear, Caster's fingers move swiftly. He starts tracing patterns down my spine that feel suspiciously like spelling out his name, accompanied by a series of sweet kisses trailing be bristly behind. I'm going to cover every inch of you. I want all of you to know my touch. What? Wait, 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 what? What? Excuse me, wait, what? <laughs> As Caster sense about making good on his declaration, I lay back and enjoy the feeling of his lips, pressing purposefully against my skin, sighing contently. Yeah. <sighs> What cute sounds you make. You know, you're cute when you're asleep too. The whole time I watched you, I just wanted to pamper you like this. Being able to see your face up close, to touch you. Don't you think it's incredible? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, stop moaning in my ear. Jesus. Not exactly in agreement. I fall further into Castor's affection. He, his kisses cascading down my neck. You're so sweet and soft. I don't think I can stop myself. Each time mm -hmm. his lips leave my flesh, Caster's kisses grow in ferocity, causing me to shudder as he sucks my skin between his teeth before releasing it once again. Every one of those marks is proof that you're mine, Lionel. Now that I got you right where I want you, I'm never letting you go. Well, you'll have to let me go at some point or I'll starve to death in bed. Attempting to calm some of Caster's intensity, I make light of his words, hoping he might slow down. Not if I feed you, you won't. Hey, look at me. And what you promise me, you'll never let anyone else see you like this, okay? Grasping my chin between his fingers, Caster forces me to stare his seriousness straight into his eyes. I promise. I promise, Caster. Not knowing what else to say, I utter the words he hopes to hear. Good. No one but me should see you so vulnerable. It's my job to protect you, so you should feel safe enough to show me everything. Snuggling into me once more, Caster breathes a sigh of relief as he holds me close. Now, why don't you go get dressed, and I'll surprise you with something. Curious to know what he has in mind, I do as he says, yawning while I make my way to the bathroom. Well, as I sit there wondering what on earth Caster has in store for me, I hear a concerning clatter coming from my kitchen below. Dragging myself wearily downstairs, worried that he somehow destroyed one of my expensive appliances, I'm instead greeted by a steaming mug of coffee, served with enthusiasm by a beaming Caster. Um, here. 
I know how much you love coffee, so I figured I'd try making one for you. Taken back by the kindness of his gesture, I smiled at him in apology for my grumpiness. Thanks, Caster. That's really thoughtful of you. As he hands me the mug, a flicker of pride seems to flutter across his face before returning to a look of concern. Um, I wasn't sure what temperature you like it. If it's too cold, I can go and warm it up for you. This is perfect, Caster. Don't worry about it. In order to show my gratitude, I take a small sip at first, testing the temperature so as not to burn my tongue, followed by a few enthusiastic gulps. It's genuinely not bad for a first attempt. Watching Caster's frown of concern morphs into an expression of elation, who causes me to smile with him. Do you like it? I love it, Caster. Hey, that gives me an idea. Since you're living in this world now, you're gonna need a job. And I bet you make a great barista. Job? I already have a job. I'm the Queen's cleric. It's my sworn duty to protect my monarch's heir. I'm not gonna give that up to become a barista. Those aren't even remotely the same thing, but I'll let it slide since there's little point in explaining that to him right now. I know, I know. But the thing is, I don't really need protection and my job doesn't exactly pay that well. If you're going to stay here with me, I'm gonna need help with the rented stuff. What's rent? Can we just live in your mother's castle instead? Oh boy, this is gonna take some explaining to do. Caster, I think maybe you're confusing some of the stuff from Winter Wish with how things work here. This world's different. Very, very different. And rent is something I have to pay to someone called a landlord, so I can actually keep a roof over my head. I don't understand. Why would someone of your status pay a lord? Shouldn't it be the other way around? I'm not royalty here, Caster. That was just my role in the game. Here in my reality, I'm just a regular person with a regular job and a regular house. Is that why everything looks so plain in here? I did wonder what happened to your taste in decor. Ow! Oh! Oh, Caster! So, then what's your mother's castle? Um, can we visit? No, Caster. There is no castle. I mean, castles exist here, but I don't know anyone who owns one, and my mother opted out of my life a long time ago. This place and all the things here are all I have. And if you don't send payment to the lord of this land, then what happens? I can't help but giggle a little to myself at his phrasing, but it would be petty to point it out. Well, then I get kicked out of here. I'll be homeless and we'll both be stuck living on the streets. So you see, it's important to make sure I can afford to look after us both. But it's my job to look after you. And you still can, Caster, but for now, you're going to have to listen to me if you want us to stay together. You just need time to learn how to live life here. As long as I can get to be with you, I don't care what I have to do. So if you need me to get a job, consider it done. I'll start searching right now. Puffing out his chest, Caster rises with intent before looking extremely lost. Um, how exactly do people get jobs around here? I guess it's different for everyone, but there are a few ways. We can't exactly submit your CV anywhere online, so that's out of question. But there's always the good old-fashioned way of just walking up to a place that has vacancies advertised. And guess what? I'm pretty sure my local cafe is looking to hire. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go and find out! Marching towards the door with renewed fervor, I almost filled the remainder of my coffee all the way down on myself as I leap up to stop him. Caster, wait! To be continued. Holy heck! Oh wow, that was good. That was hella good. Oh gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was Darling Yay! Duality. I really can't wait for the full game to be released. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, if you guys want to play this for yourself, link to the game is in the description below. And I was just laughing because I remember that there are people out there who are annoyed at the fact that I play so many demos. Uh, but hey, like, what, what can we do? A lot of these great games are still in the early stages of development. Anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. This is Lionel, signing off. Ciao.